so hey everyone today let's discuss this problem um this problem is from the uh, code forces round code on code t on whatever this is uh, round two so i hope you all have read the question so i'll be directly getting into the solution of the question like just read the problem once it's uh, like the the explanation is pretty simple you had uh, just have to do these two operations until and unless you can match a with b like uh, there are two strings given a and b and you're only allowed to change a and what changes you are allowed it's given over here so you can read this once and then come back so the idea is simple like just there was just one observation needed what that operation is giving you the liberty of so suppose i'm not writing 0 1 0 1 or whatever i'm just writing it a b c d e f g h i j okay this uh, so just assume that these are the uh, the, uh, this is basically the indexes okay so i've just named it some indexes so if a b is so i hope you're getting it so if a b so 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 let's just say a is 0 and b is 1 and you apply some operation so let's just say the operation you apply is of the minimum one that you can keep the minimum so from this a and b you can make it a and if you and if a is 1 and b is 0 then you can also so okay i'll explain it much easier one second um the idea is the first two characters the first whatever the first two positions are um also i'll try to take indexes this time oh sorry this time i'll try to take indexes one second yeah so let's just say the indexes are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this is a, a string string a and these are the indexes of the binary sequence so if you look at the operations closely it is your wish if you want to keep zero or one because if they so if they both are same for example say the string starts with zero zero then you have to keep zero if the string if the string starts with one one then you have to keep one but if the string starts with zero one then it's your wish if you apply any the minimum operation you'll be able to keep zero if you apply the maximum operation you, the operation 2 basically then you will be able to keep the 1 so from this 0 or 1 like this is the index but whatever characters it has it's your wish so let's just say i assume i want to keep 0 so my strings so my string modifies to 0 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then again i have an option between 0 and 2 so I, so I don't care whatever these numbers are so for it can be 0 0 it can be 1 1 it can be 0 1 it can be whatever like it can be one zero also i have my i have my complete liberty because they have given me the liberty to use any of the operations i need i can either use the first operation if i want the minimum one let's just say zero i can use the second operation if i want one so out of the zero or two you can keep any of them so let's just say i decided to keep two so again two three so let's just continue this for some time out of two and three uh, i decided to keep two again two four five six seven eight out of uh, like again after two and four i again decided that i'll be keeping two only two five six seven eight now let's just say the second string so this so these were the indexes of the a string what if b string was the b string was of length um five then you cannot go beyond this you cannot go beyond because if you go beyond this you will be reducing the length of a and you cannot reduce the length of a because the length of the b string is 5 the length of the b string is 5 so you cannot go below these are the indexes okay these are the indices so don't come don't, don't confuse them the sequence is binary these are the indices so initially from 0 and 1 i selected 0 from 0 and 2 i selected 2 from 2 and 3 i selected 2 and from 2 and 4 again i selected 2 you can also select 4 as i said the those if you look at those operations closely they are giving you the liberty to so so listen to these uh, so listen to my words closely the two operations are giving you the liberty to choose any of the indices and to remove the other like the other indices the other index because from 0 and 1 i removed 1 from 0 and 2 i removed 0 from 2 and 3 i removed 3 from 2 and 4 i removed uh, 4 so it's given so as you can see till till this point till this point you removed everything except 2 so the final format the final format will always be something like this uh, n minus 1 characters sorry uh, here n is here n is length of b string n minus 1 characters will be 
consecutive 5 6 7 8 and one character will come from this area because in so here it there was a possible case that it could have been three also right because up here two and three i would have removed two so here we would have three and four here i would have removed four again i would have had three so this position this position can be filled with any index number uh, from like from zero to four you can fill this with any and the rest all of them have to be consecutive only so this was the crack of the question whatever the length of b is given just iterate uh back i'll just show so i used a two pointer technique one second So I'll just show you my solution. You'll get the solution very easily, like after the explanation. So the idea is you set up two pointers, one at the end of A, other one at the end of B, while P1 is greater than zero and P2 and those strings are matching because they have to match P1 minus minus P2 minus minus. But then you want P2 like um, if P2 is greater than zero, that means um, Okay, I removed everything I've written, right? Okay, one second. Um, so, as I said, uh, so uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So, suppose my string, my, my length of B was, uh, let's just say it was 4. So, I know that these these three numbers cannot be changed these three numbers have to match with the so let's just say um this is my string a right so let's just say my string a is this indices of string a 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 indices of string b uh let's just say it's simply as i said length is for 0 1 2 3 so 0 1 2 3 so these three have to match with these three and this zero if it's matching then it's fine like if all three four five six is matching then it's fine it's good for you but otherwise if it's not matching you have zero should match at least one of these that's the only option you have that's the only option you have so first you have to confirm that the end n minus one the uh, where sorry the last three of b last three of b is matching with the last three of a if it is matching then you know that uh, this one has to be replaced with someone from here and then you just then you can just run a loop from zero to this three and check if any number from zero one two three in a is equal to the zeroth character of b so again if we look at my solution i made like i always make sure that p2 has to be uh like if it is greater than zero like in this case p2 has to be in this position like this uh i hope you're able to see my cursor p2 has to be here p2 has to if p2 is here the answer is not possible p2 has to be here so if my p2 is in that position then uh see out no it's not possible like if it's uh, not in the zeroth position that is the first character of b then it's not possible if p2 is minus one that means everything matched the last four characters were equal to the last four characters of b so it's fine like everything has matched so do no need otherwise what is the needed character the needed character is uh, this the first character of b where like where p2 is pointing so you run a loop from 0 to p1 where is p1 p1 is up here okay p1 is up here this is p1 so you run a loop from 0 to p1 these numbers you check for these numbers and you make sure that at least one of them at least one of them is uh, equal to the needed character and if it is then see out yes otherwise no so that was the only um, observation needed uh, you have to just find um, that all the last n minus 1 the last 
here, here when I'm saying n, my n means this length of b. The last n minus 1 has to match with, because as I showed you, the format is always one, like one of them is different and last, like all three, all n minus 1, last, the prefix, that is equal to b. And then you just have to replace the first character with any one of them. So that's it for this video. I hope you all got this intuition. Like the operations, like all you had to observe was that the operations are giving you the liberty to keep any of the first two indexes and remove the other one. So that way you can keep doing this until a certain time. That is, you cannot uh, shorten the length of A because it has to be equal to B and you cannot reduce the length of string A. Like it cannot go below the length of b so that's it for this video 